totally not an emulator. How's it actually look in the thing? I got the huge CPU, pause CPU is even right there. I don't actually care. Well, that stick's kind of weird on this thing. I'm taking the uh, file three. Just cuz. I'm pretty sure everyone knows this game now. Who are these two people? Why not one of the two people? Ashera Michelle, I've never actually seen that name. Hi, welcome. I'm streaming. Banjo Kazooie. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I enjoyed the company. Oh, wow. That was abrupt. Usually people stick around for a quality check first. I appreciate it though. I wouldn't say I normally play Banjo Kazooie. You there, Doug? Favorite game? Oh, you're just always hanging around here. That's unskippable, huh? Ugh. Come on. Just find a way. Sign in. I'm pressing start. Nothing happens. We'll see once I get to, um... A place where I can control. I'm on an emulator. I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. There are occasionally a little tiny lag spike here and there. I hope it's not terrible. Everyone sounds in this game. <laughs> I guess everything I've seen so far has been a cutscene. Um, I know my way around the game. There'll be a little bit of exploring here and there. Just to figure out where all the notes are. I like spiking is a little obnoxious. I'm hoping it'll be better once it's continuous gameplay and it won't just be random. I hope it's like during like loading scenes. It looks periodic so far. Which I don't like. I bet I can skip this. Press my mouse on to double check that it's not on the screen. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. All of her lines are in rhyme. I have some pretty humorous ones if you leave yourself idle in the, uh... Castle. Ooh. That was a pretty random lag. Maybe it's just gonna be random lag. I don't like the idea of that. Alright, am I in control? Yes. I have no moves. 
What's the button combination to skip? Z, R, B? Yeah, Z, R, B. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic now. I got all this. I kind of like saying yes, just purely to get the moves one by one. There's no real need to do that. My lag spike. Alright. Yeah, I remembered. Benjo 2 is one of the only... What's the word? In most sequels, they erase all your moves. And Benjo 2 he just keeps every single thing you have in this game. I can't do this yet. I don't remember when you can do it. Oh, no, I can do it right now. I'm afraid I can't tell you any more about this hidden feature until you collect the Jigsaw from the Sandcastle game in Treasure Trove Cove. Only when you've got the Sandcastle Jigsaw. This is a pretty cool house. I tell you, I, um... I was obsessed with all the secrets in this game as a kid. Tui? Okay, I actually have some problems with Tui. The thing about Tui is that it's big. It's a really big game. Oh yeah, that's how we move it in this game. Hey Doug, what's up? I'm getting occasional lag spikes. I'm a little upset about that. I think I would like to if it wasn't as enormous. And also there's less to collect because they really went like overboard on that. Because there's like all the Cheeto pages. And you frequently have to like revisit stages. I mean you do have to revisit stages a couple times in this game actually. I like when that's not a thing. Not that I really have any problems with this game. My controls are working fine. This is not the tree I climb. B is the big stroke, A is the small stroke. I swear there's a different game where it's opposite. Mario 64. A is the big stroke, B is the small stroke. I think? No, I'm not sure. What is this, some kind of cauliflower thing? Ta-ta. It still isn't the right tree. It's funny because this game completely copied Mario 64 mechanics. I'm not complaining though, since those are good mechanics. Oh, this is really going to bother me. I'll probably fix it before the next time I stream this game. Since I imagine it's something that can be fixed. The one thing I really like about this game of Mario 64 is the fact that you don't have to exit the stage to get a jigsaw puzzle. Peace, a jiggy. I always find that kind of a um, annoying mechanic. I mean, I know they were trying to um, like expand each. I don't know. I I know it's like um, I don't I don't really know what they were trying to do with that actually. My guess. Isn't there a fish, like, here? Or you have to take a fish here in Spiral Mountain and Tui? I don't remember. Well, something. I remember a goldfish being in this water. And he doubles your breath. I think you have to save a goldfish and, like, leave him here. Something like that. I beat Tui. I beat it 100%. I even got all little gingos and stuff. Which, you know, is part of 100%. Alright, I'm about ready to have an adventure. Even with my complete lack of skills. Are people just pouring into like this Banjo Kazooie? Show us the way, bottle boy. This is supposed to kind of double as a let's play, but I don't really think I'm going to make it all formal. The roll, it's got a little bit of recovery. You got to cancel it with the jump. I always didn't like that you have to like. In order to save this game, you have to do the save and quit, so you have to see, like, the, the bad end screen every single time you want to save. Oh, 
Something like that. I was doing that earlier. I should be reading these lines aloud. They're really good. She's very well written. Yeah, right? Giving you bad end every time you say that messed up. I always felt like I lost. I always felt like the only way to win was to beat the entire game in one sitting. And I don't think I ever did that. I've beaten this game in two sittings. I've beaten this game several times. There are a lot of items and things in this game that talk exactly once. I think this is the only time you see a Jiggy talking. And everything has a unique voice. And some of them you need to know for the quiz at the end. I'm gonna be honest. First time I played this game, I tried to jump into that. I was like, oh yeah. Paintings, I know what to do with these. I have to solve a jigsaw puzzle. Alright, are you done? Okay, I... Oh, it's... L is one of the buttons I have to hit. Who are these people? Who's all here? Time out. Zexian number six, and also people I knew. Hi. Welcome. Mamumbo. I've never done it before, but there's a speedrunner trick to climb this thing without getting the tick. You like stand on this and you slide down, and then you flip like that. And then, okay, hold on. Let me actually try it a couple times. You slide down, then you float up, and then you... I don't even have ground pound, I can't even do it yet. I'll give it a couple fair effort, fair tries. Yes, yeah, Mumbo's man. <sighs> what is with this lag spiking? I don't understand. I don't even know what would cause that. Me Mumbo's token, used for Mumbo magic. Am I gonna get the ginger one too? Okay. Yippee, you saved me. Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Bring us all to get a Jiggy. Pretty straightforward. Musical notes too. It makes sense that Kazooie is B because Kazooie is B in everything. Also, I think there was exactly one command changed from, uh, Kazooie to Tui, and it involved uh, one of Banjo's. I think Banjo's basic B attack. This thing. That changed. I think that move was just straight up removed or something. There's something about it. Go away, leave my honeycombs alone. I usually go the entire game without using one of these things. Things a bit slippy, huh? Find me and I'll teach you how to get. I can't do anything over here yet. I can't get the eggs. I'm gonna come back. I'd rather have the ground pound. I'm not doing very well right now. <laughs> I don't remember the order that I used to do this as a kid. This is my first time playing the game in quite a while, actually. That's the name. I always find it really graphic the way these things just explode when you hit them. Up by the stone head and singing. I want my ground pound, where is it? Out here somewhere. I know where it is. I remember the exact layout of every single level. L, R, and B. No Z. There we go. That's better. The lag. You guys seeing this? Too many notes on the screen. Too many objects. Mmm. I'm sticky, tasty, honey energy. I have played Conqueror's Bad for a day. What's the egg say? Everything talks. Where are the eggs? Because we can learn to use us as ammo. An enemy. A ginger. 
Already looking pretty good for the Jinjos in this level. I won't be able to show off a whole lot in this game because I don't know a whole lot of the silly tricks. Yeah, yeah I know how Jiggy works. I already got one. Oh, everyone's talking to me. That one seems really lazily hidden. That's like the only Jinjo or Jin that's the only Jiggy in the game you don't have to do any work to get. I'm just sitting there. You have the backflip to get it, amazing. This huge tall pillar, and then like sloped surfaces on either side of it, kind of reminds me of the first level of Donkey Kong 64, which isn't surprising at all. Don't care about anything you have to say. I'll take the talent shot, thank you. So that's not that. That's that. My controls are a little weird right now. That being said, there's no excuse for me accidentally hitting B. I already got 51. Camera. He come ball come. Do it again. There's some neat tricks in this game that I will actually be able to show off now I'm thinking about it. Oh, but I actually know a lot of the, um, the lore of this game. And by that I mean it's creation, not, um, the canon of the universe. I know some of the silly... Is this the last one? First level always goes fast. I'm going to try and do the first two in this sitting. I don't want to go on longer than about an hour and a half, but there's a good chance I will. I usually record for extremely long periods of time. This lag. I'm going to stop mentioning it. But I promise I'm going to fix it. Did I really miss that? I'm out. Okay. I wasn't even standing on that time. He gave me a free one. Stole his orange. That Congo's orange. Yum! Oranges are nice. They didn't even give me any kind of like... You know, oranges are a good source of vitamin C or anything like that. I saw this monkey looked like Diddy Kong. I was always mystified by this monkey being... Like there's one orange and one monkey in like the entire game. And then it leaves and it's just gone. I'm always bothered by anything in a video game where there's only one of it. There's a lot of only one stuff in this game. Don't care about. Yay. Um, like so? That's bad. Alright, it didn't freeze. I'm glad that it didn't freeze. Can I hit this man? I remember watching um, a demo for this game actually. It was on like a Nintendo a Nintendo VHS that I had as a kid. And I remember seeing like in the demo for this game before it was released, like the guy was fighting this boss from here and shooting him with uh eggs. It always bothered me that you can't kill him. He will continue to attack him even after continue to attack you even after you kill him. After you beat him. I always felt like uh, he wasn't fully dead. You know what I mean? Boom. Yeah, the chinfish, actually. From Cave Story. There's one chinfish. In Cave Story Plus, if you go the entire game without killing it, you get an achievement. I did not know that the first playthrough. I need to stop running around and start talent trotting around. Whoa, the bull. That enemy is also unkillable. Reminds me of the bulls from Spyro the Dragon. So the final Mumbo token should actually be in here. Oh, I spent like two million years looking for the final Mumbo token. And it's in the place. Hey, ugly, no bears allowed in Tigger's Tower. I thought it was going to try and kill me or something. They looked evil. It looked like it had a bad mood. Can I get this thing? Okay. It's possible to climb this without ever going tick.
I should actually. I have the tools. We Juju, Mumbo's totem. Oh, beat us with nice blue stones. That was bullcrap. There we go. There's a boss like this, but huge in uh, Tui. It's not that much like this. I've gotten every single achievement in Cave Story except the ones where you have to be the game on hard mode and stuff. You have 3 HP on hard mode. You never get more. 3 is the number. I don't care, Mumbo. Mumbo in this game, I don't remember if it's the instruction manual or if he drops it somewhere in the game, but he claims that he's a Jinjo. Not a Jinjo. He claims that that's not his real face and Gruntelda just turned that, like, turned his face into that. But then they didn't keep that for the later games. I think it's speculated that he's supposed to be a Jinjo. Anyway. Mumbo's magic. Free to change back. You come. When ready. Termite's a bit small, but not bad for first spell. Mumbo practice needed. I, for some reason, I was 200% convinced that every one of these little transformations should have an attack of some sort. Especially like the bee with a stinger. And I was especially confused because Tui actually, I think, did do bee with a stinger at some point. And Tui actually had like attacked for every transformation. Except like the money car, I think. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them. This mastery of float surfaces. This one also has a line. This one's just about unkillable since you can't get up here with Banjo very easily. Give me that cool backpack or else. And then repeated lag. I really should save state just in case my game freezes. I'm suddenly paranoid about that. Uh, F5. I'm going to try and beat this entire game without doing any save loading. Since it's not that hard. <laughs> but I tend to use it as a crutch whenever I have it available. So we should be pretty much done with this level actually. Everything left I think I can get as a tick. You see that area over there? I thought it'd be cool you could get over there. Sprout, one of the Fire of the Dragon levels did that. Playing the whole game in one sitting? Not today. It's uh 3.39 a.m. here. It is so late it is early. How far do you think you'll play? Um, okay, here's some considerations I'm making. I am going to get all the stop and swap stuff. Which means I'm going to enter a bunch of codes into the, um, uh, treasure, treasure trove cove, the little secret area. And that means that I don't want to do that on stream. Which means I'll probably stop. I'll probably do them as soon as I can. I'll probably do like the first either two or first three worlds. And I just did the first world, so. Alright, give me a second, uh, don't care. I'm going to save state. I'm glad that was the save state and not the save load button. I'm going to transform back. Mama Magic, get weak. I like how there aren't enemies outside until you open the door. And then enemies start. No. We must live in the same time zone. Look, I punched it. This is that one attack that no one uses, because it sucks. Alright, hold on, let's see here. Slide down. Float up. Do I jump, then double jump? I think. We'll see. Not quite. I think I jump, then double jump. Oh, 
Ah, oh, I was close. <laughs> Well, that's not fair. I lag. I wonder how long I'll try this before I get tired. That was dumb and not right. I like this music. This game has incredible music. I keep on forgetting to jump. Am I dumb? I'm glad it's lagging at times that aren't incredibly inconvenient. Ah, oh, that was close. Ah, oh, shit, it's Befail. I just dropped an S-bomb. Sorry. I'm doing my thing. I'm gonna stop doing my thing because my thing is retarded. What's up, Kasaragam? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm still keeping around here and there. School has been hard. I already saved stated there, I just loaded it. I was just trying to get up without the, um... It's possible and I could probably do it, unless it's like frame perfect, which I don't think it is. But even if it was, I could still do it, because I can do frame perfect stuff. Given enough tries. I already know how no doors work. I can actually do pretty much anything given enough tries. I'm gonna go activate this guy. That enemy looks pretty funny. Looking at him now. This one's red and there's an orange one later and they look very nearly identical to me. Kind of like a maroon. What's that springboard called? Shock jump pad? Shock spring pad? Something like that. Oops, I accidentally deactivated. It doesn't tell you how to put them in all at once until I think the third one you fell in. I like how you can take out Jiggies. You need to you need to get all but six Jiggies to even beat this game. So you're gonna be getting like enough for these little puzzles. Because you have to. If you want 100% Jiggy, well, I mean, to get 100% Jiggies, you have to collect all the Jiggies. But if you want to use, if you want to do all of the puzzles, you need all but two Jiggies. What's up here? A pipe? Or is this uh, Clankers? I honestly don't remember. This is Clankers, I'm sure of it now. Yeah, I can't do this yet. I'm really tempted to just stop the stream and like, oh, I keep talking about it, but it's so hard to ignore. Is this the orange one? Yeah. It's like pretty much red as well. The other one's not very red though. This one's actually more red than the other one. That's not really true. Can I get this? Ikambokam. They don't actually write out Ikambokam until nuts and bolts. I think it's like EE. -E. I didn't know you could climb this thing. I had to fiddle around a bit to try and get back up. I didn't know video game logic when I first played this game. Now I know video game logic everywhere. Unless a game is terrible, there aren't just places where you can go where you can't get back up. Or you can't escape. Now I didn't know things like that when I first played like a Ocarina of Time. I've got funny stories about that. I used to be absolutely terrified of this level because of the water. That blue Jinjo was like the very last thing I got in this level and I was so afraid. Don't spawn in an inconvenient place. What's his name, Snackers? If he hits me, I think he talks. Mmm, lovely. No. He doesn't even introduce himself. Snacker, smells tasty. Dinner, stay just there. You kill these guys with ground pounds, so they drop double, double health. There is one of the secrets of the game. Ugh, I don't remember this. I thought it was the other way. I can't even look at it.
Shark Food Island. There's a bunch of really cool stuff there. Actually, just one really cool thing, but it's really cool. Why am I walking everywhere? Let's kill the, uh, kill this guy. Can I walk in a straight line? Oh no, hey boss. Hey, this nipper is beach. You find nothing without nipper's help. Crustacean brain. There's some really crazy lines that slipped its way into their into this game. Especially Tui. I really think this boss is cute. This is a cute boss. Snip, 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 snip. Snip, 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 snip. He makes cute noises and he's got a funny face. So where'd he go? Thought I saw him go in here. You go and it's just empty. Um, I thought those guys did two damage. I'm thinking of... Wow. Wow. I'm thinking of Zelda. The little crabs in Zelda Link to the Past did two hearts of damage. Or I think like three. They did like the most damage of any enemy in the game. I swear there's another game where crabs do two damage. Can't think of it though. Eggs. I never ever 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 use eggs. Unless the game requires I do. Hmm. Can't go up there yet. Actually I think I can. Oh yeah, that was hard. We, I'm a red feather. One of my friends told me, and he had, like, up until then, and ever since then, been very accurate with his information. Told me that that guy who lost his gold didn't just lose two bricks of gold, but actually lost five. And, like, the other ones were, like, hidden throughout the game, or something like that. Or, like, in incredibly secret places at this level. And I didn't... I didn't ever look for them. But I did believe him. I thought that one day, like, someone would... Like, I'd look it up on the internet and then find out about it. I think this first one has a mumbo token on it. Whee! Wow, I... Really? The Salty Hippo. That's one of the questions. On the quiz. Everything. Everything is on that quiz. Alright, this is both the skills to the level. I think I easily found one of the two things. I easily found this top one. And then I spent a little while looking for the other one. I have very clear memories of my first playthrough of this game. I was pretty young too. Probably like in their almost five. Or six. Yeah, I remember that. Me getting ground pound to get out. <laughs> In speedruns, they do like this. And you can get in without ever going underwater, I think. Something like that. I'm not an expert in these things. I've never speedrun this game or any game. Though I've always wanted to. Is there a mumbo token in this one? Like at the top? I remember that, but it might not be true. It's not. Speedrun FFT. I'm gonna do that actually. Don't tell Claude. I'm gonna speedrun War of the Lions. I'm gonna get the speedrun for that using his exact methods, but better. For fairness, I think I'll have to use the un... You know, actually now I think about it, like spells are a lot slower in War of the Lions. And it wouldn't be fair for me to just use the patched ROM. I'm not good at this game. 
like enough so to speedrun it. I could become good enough to speedrun it, but I honestly have no interest whatsoever in doing so. Wait, I want that. I must get everything. I wonder if I know the locations of every Mumbo token in the game. I'd never find out. There were one-ups in Mario 64 that weren't discovered until Toad's Tool was made. Which was literally like a decompiler for the game. Like, there's a one-up in uh, Bowser in the Fire Sea that's just completely nuts to find. And it was pretty much unknown. Where do I go now? Let's do the bucket. Let's do all that. I think that's probably a better way of doing this. This is not the bucket. I'll do it anyway, I'm here. Check it out, you can do this. I always thought that was kind of neat. Can I jump but not off the shock jump pad? Okay. If I were going to speedrun a game, it would probably be Prince of Prey John Doss. Probably the second one. It would probably be Mole Mania. Mole Mania looks like an easy game to speedrun. Just memorization, and there's no competition. It's a pretty long game, but I like it, so whatever. Um... I have no business being up here yet. The crabs in this game are so cute. It almost, almost pains me to kill them. It's like that close. I'm kind of surprised there's more than one viewer in my stream right now. I'm enjoying it. But I'm kind of surprised. Four is a number I fully was not expecting. I kind of thought this would just be me. Am I lonesome? I don't know, like, I, I didn't do anything. I just started playing Banjo-Kazooie. Apparently that's enough to get people. Not mine. Worst mine. Wow, the game is really confused right now. Okay. Uh, I always feel like I'm gonna screw up this jump. It's kinda hard to get on top of this thing, too. I don't think I've ever actually screwed up that jump. It wasn't so long ago, but I actually beat Banjo... Not Banjo, um, Donkey Kong 64. I used to say that Donkey Kong 64 was... easier than... Tui, harder than Kazooie, and as long as both. And therefore the superior game. But looking back, ben, like Donkey Kong 64 is kind of a... I mean, I love it. I think it's a great... I think I, I have a lot of fun playing it. But it's kind of a terrible game. The production value is kind of, like, bad. There's a lot of glitches. And a lot of just general, like, broken stuff. I'm not here to complain about that game, though. I might as well enter at least one cheat to show off. Show off what entering cheats is like. The gate opens to reveal your prize, but first I'll cut you down to size. He also speaks in rhyme, apparently. I think this one is actually pretty strong, let's find out. Nope, still one. Oh yeah, he's strong because he takes two hits to kill. He only drops one health for some reason. Whatever. Alright, I'm going to be doing this with, like, seven passwords, so I don't feel bad about making people watch one. I think you do... Uh... Uh... The Moo. C... H... You can use any letter. E... K... It wouldn't let you use the same letter multiple times in the original time. N? O? W? Y? O? U? C? A? I can't believe I'm doing this. And I can't believe I'm going to do this like 20 times. 
S E E A N Goodness gracious I C E I I don't even have this open, I just remember this. C E Um Okay. E I don't think there's any kind of time limit. Y W H I if you miss a letter it sucks. I C H Y O U C A This is so monotonous. N H Felt a little insecure about that one. H A V. If this doesn't work, I'll be so upset. I'll probably cry a little bit. F. Oh. R. F. R. E. E. Now you can see an ice ice key which you can have for free. I unlocked the ice key. Now I can go collect it. Anyone remember the other one? Out of the sea it rises to something something prizes. I might do that. If someone can find that for me in the time it takes for me to do Out of the Sea It Rises, I'll be grateful. I'm not going to do them all here. I didn't even expect to do two, but I think I'm going to do two. And then this is the world's most boring stream. When I'm watching, like, uh, Let's Play, I skip parts like this. But whatever, people are willing to watch, um, 30 minute and one hour bomb jumps on, uh, Twitch. Out of the sea it rises to reveal more secret prizes. Thanks. Oh. You. T. I wonder if that one's shorter. I want to believe it's shorter. Whether I want to believe or not will not actually affect how long I'm here. T H. I think I just know where all the letters were by now. I can't believe I'm doing this. I usually don't do this. I do not count this for 100%. This is all dummy content. I'm really surprised they're even... Um, cheats in the game to unlock it, but Rare's kind of famous for that stuff. I've actually got stories about Rare. Um, the GoldenEye cheats were released... Where's the V? The GoldenEye cheats were released, like, years and years after GoldenEye was released. It suddenly revealed that there were cheats in that game. More. More starts with the letter M. These codes long enough. Woo. 
I should actually mention a little bit about stuff and swap while I'm here. I've certainly got time. I say as I nearly finish. Uh, the plan, so it goes, was that um, you could take... Where's the Z? Where's the Z? I oh, I didn't miss any letters. I've not been taking the most careful attention. Yep, got it. Yay. Anyway, um, the idea was there's no, there was no, memory card was kind of a late thing for the N64. And these games didn't use memory cards, but they wanted to make it so you could find secrets in Banjo-Kazooie that would carry over to Tui. And um, what they ended up doing, I'm just swimming to this. I don't even care about you, Snackers. I'm not even afraid. I'm not afraid anymore! I said... Oh, God. Yeah, the music. Like, I did something incredible. It's actually pretty tough to get up these things. I say these things like this isn't the only one in the game. They're testing my patience on every level. The lag, okay. Anyway, because there's no good way to carry data from, uh... Yeah, the music. Ooh, an egg. I'm sure we'll find a use for this somewhere, implying. So, it goes into the menu, into the totals, as stop and swap. And the theory, which I don't think has ever been, like, confirmed, is that the N64 actually had the technology, if you, um, turned it off, I think. I don't even think you turned it, I think you left it on and pulled the game out. And then reset. And if you did that within 30 seconds, the N64 would retain some memory of the game that was just in it. Or something like that, some weird thing. And then it was deemed, like, unviable or, like, ridiculous or something, and they took it out of the game. But it's called Stop and Swap because you're stopped playing, and you, s you switch whether... Kazooie or Tui was in the N64, but then it was like found to like damage N64 cartridges or something. I don't know. They like didn't go through with it for whatever reason. The game was released without it. And then in Tui, you can just find the eggs that you were gonna find in this game, or some of them anyway. There's a lot of dummy content in Tui as well. That kept the ice key anyway. It's a really cool idea, but um, they just absolutely couldn't implement it, which is kind of a shame. Snacker, no. It's kind of a shame. I think they tried to re-implement... I don't actually know. But I heard they tried to re-implement it with, um... The Xbox Live Arcade versions of the game. Do not know how that went. I did not even get all of them. I hope I got all of them. Maybe I can clip inside. Go away. What did I even do to you? Looks empty to here. From here. Red feathers don't care. There's a one up here that I like. I always said who's like crazy enough to get that one up when I was a kid. But like, Snacker does like one damage. He didn't even spawn here for some reason. Not that you ever really need one-ups in this game. I love this music. This marimba. I do not have the beak bomb. Fly high or nothing. I'm going down. Can I get these notes? I do not think that's such a, a large request. 
I like this little side area. This is actually my favorite part of the stage. Because you're kind of sneaking around the outer edges. It's kind of cool in my opinion. Am I just going to do the very top of the level last? If memory serves, then... The, um... I did not pick the greatest place to do this. I'll go away. If memory serves, the honeycomb is somewhere down here. I was absolutely terrified by the concept of drowning in a video game as a child. Yes. Clanker gets stuck around corners. Did I just say Clanker? I was not one of those people who was afraid of Clanker, by the way. A lot of people say, like, oh, you walk around the corner and Clanker's there and you get so terrified. Not me. I kill this guy. And I didn't even want it anyway. Just kidding. I'll take the hard to get one. I don't want to feel like I earned it. Uh, where's the flight pad? I did a lot of skipping stuff just then. I'm gonna go in this guy's mouth. This looks more at home in a Mario game than... like anything else. Oh, it's gonna get even quieter in here. I'll try not to play too much without you. I'm probably going to just beat the rest of this game over the weekend. Over like the three day period. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. How I wish I had the beak bomb. That was a good chance to get on top of the uh, island. If you're around, then I will be. Or something like that anyway. I just took the correct way down. Ecom, welcome. Ecom, welcome. And I found the secret. What are you up to, Doug? Drawing? These eggs. Lag. I feel like those notes are the only notes up here. Yes. You are a little far behind. Uh, you want to see a cool secret? If you are crouching and sitting on an incredibly sloped surface, you will just slide harmlessly down that surface. Let's see if I can pick a good spot to do it. That place looks fine. That was not the best demonstration. But there are places where you can do that. Maybe you have to be Kazooie, actually. And stand on it and then stand still. I don't remember. Two mumbo tokens for the price of one. Econ Balkum. What is this where you have to, like, jump up? That poor mine has probably never killed anyone. You ever just look at a spot in a video game where there's something that can like, harm the player? And wonder how many people all across, like, people who've ever played the video game have died in that spot? If I made a platform where I would keep records like that, I would, like, put, like, a global database that you'd activate every time you died to something. I'm pretty sure N does that. The platformer where you play as the ninja who jumps off walls. I'm pretty sure there's some degree of that going on. Keep track of how you die in certain ways. And in certain places. I mean, it records every death, right? Somehow. Some way or another. Nine is apparently the max number of lives. You get to live. What else is there around here? Mumbo token. I'm religiously collecting those even though there are more than you need. I really should be collecting the feathers because they're actually useful. How do I avoid hitting this?
I didn't get the giant treasure chest. And I didn't get the other honeycomb. Apart from that, I'm sitting pretty. I might have to finish this little line. Hello? That didn't count. get at platformers. My 12 year old self would be absolutely horrified to watch me play platformers these days. I'm gonna make an emergency save state because I hate when the game freezes. I always feel like I'm gonna lose everything. What is lag spikes? Yeah. Or being, having an overbearing younger inner child. I have a super overbearing inner child. My child is always bossing me around. Eh. My analog stick is okay. Ha! Ah, you'll never find me now. I have time that's always ground pounding, like in the center. Yikes, please open me gently. I thought there was a way to open him gently. I thought there was a way to do that, and I couldn't figure out how. And then I destroyed him, and I thought I messed up. I was rewarded with a jiggy, though, so whatever. But I felt like I killed that character. Nine. That leaves the honeycomb and the treasure chest. I think you can die to exit a stage once you get everything. Did I get all the notes? I don't even remember. I don't think I did. I wonder where the other ones are. There's at least some on the path going up. I can get those pretty easily. Is it out there where? Hmm. This one has like a little dialogue message. <gasps> I'm gonna die right here. Okay. This be Gruntelda's booty. Touch it if you dare. I got it. Oh, one more, one more note. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I know exactly where that note is. Oh yeah, there's um, not just codes for um. The stop and swap in that little cheat area. There's also codes to like unlock parts of the game and do weird things. And notably, if you use um, three or more codes, your file will be erased. Until the threatens you with like erasing your file, but then she actually does it. Give the bear lots of air. Yeah, stuff like that. But also like weird stuff, like make the, make the, um, the jigsaw puzzle up here for click lock wood. Like stuff that you would think, like just basic switches in the game. I don't actually remember where this crap is, so I'm just going to fly out in all directions. Hope that I find it one day. I kind of thought it was out of this direction. I love how the music gets like quieter as you get higher. As though the p people playing the instruments are on the ground and you're getting distant from them. About really, then a colon, then what? What are you implying? What are you saying? What does the colon mean? Ugh, I don't know where this honeycomb is. The honeycombs are like the one thing that I forget to search for. Because there's all these notes and all these diggies and then it's just like, oh yeah, the honeycombs. I remember those. It's not out here, I already know it's not out here. I guess it must just be this way. You can actually kill Snacker if you have gold feathers. Most people don't bother coming back here. And most people don't think to try gold feathers. Gold feathers are criminally unused, underused by everyone who plays this game. People like don't use gold feathers ever, because they can help it. This is like the very last place I thought it'd be, and it was I think the first place I searched. I found it anyway. 
and then I landed on accident, so that's fun. But if you kill him, he actually drops like honeycombs. He is only killable by gold feathers. Especially Banjo Tooie, it's very easy to forget that gold feathers are in the game. Because like you never find gold feathers anywhere, and they're never you're you're never told that gold feathers are in the game. It's just understood that gold feathers are in the game because because they were in Banjo Kazooie and everything else carried over. Like you find them occasionally. They're in the feather pads. It's just like there's no point to getting up here. Banjo eats everything. When you see items, you just pick them up in that game. You don't think, oh yeah, gold feathers, now I can be invincible. That enemy also gets to live. This guy doesn't break open. He just falls over. Where's the bubble glip swamp? Um, keypad. Oh, I think it's in Clinker's cavern area. He's lonely in here. It really does sound quite absurd. Adventure of a bear and bird. I remember that one. If you want to place all of my pieces into the picture, just press Z. You can't actually do it until he says that. Let's try it. Wow. Alright, the real question is do I keep going? The real answer is yes. Game has good music. I've actually been reflecting on that since it was brought up to me. And it's true. I mean, this music is okay. But once we get to, like, um, the ice world... Alright, I have a theory about ice worlds, okay? Think of a platformer with eight different worlds. At least six different worlds, okay? Here's my theory. The more worlds that a platformer has, the greater likelihood they will eventually resort to a nice world. I bet any game that you were thinking of that has six or more worlds that the platformer has a nice world. I'll hear exceptions, though. Mario vs. Donkey Kong doesn't have a nice world. That has six worlds. Pretty sure you can get up here from here. Yeah. Okay. That's a pretty stylish way to do it. A hey, gold feather. Lucky you. These things have cool voices. I have a vulnerability feather. I'll also tell you more. I think I have cool stories about this, this level. This is the first level where I actually start having cool stories. This is, this, isn't, this is the first level. That one totally does what? The iceberg. What are you talking about? I don't understand. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I'm talking about the Game Boy Advance one. Mario vs. Donkey Kong is not um, a Game Boy game. The iceberg is from... Donkey Kong 97, the Game Boy, Game Boy game. Hey Nick, what's up? Yeah, I'm fucking awake! You got a problem? Yes. Yeah. This is my roommate, Nick. Three. Get on my level. It was four. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a little, a little laggy, every now and then. Just enough to piss me off. Not enough to make me stop and and fix it. No, I started maybe. I don't know, it's like I couldn't give you a time estimate. I've I've lost track of time. 
It can't have been that long. I've only done the first two worlds. I know, right? Hi, I'm Gloop. I didn't know this guy was here the first time I played this game. So, um... What was the lag? Yeah, actually. I had to restart level and I was very devastated. I was absolutely terrified of joining in video games when I was a kid. And I thought it was like ridiculous that you had to go all the way down here and then like... I, I think I did it three times. Like just because I didn't understand you could breathe in his air. I like went all the way down, went through the key and went all the way back up again. So I'm gonna get some air so I don't drown. Bloop. Maybe one more for good measure. One more for good measure. I bet you can't even name that quote. Ah, uh, Jinjo. I'm trying. What's that about, dude? Don't yell. Don't yell. It's 3 a.m. 4 a.m. How was work? Kindly don't yell right next to me. That's my least favorite thing is when people yell right next to me. Doing pretty good. I don't understand. What is this thing, an anvil? Is he alive or dead? He's a robot. Maybe. Might be a cyborg. A cyborg is um part organics, part robot. Yay, hair. Thanks, Gloop. Thanks for exhaling all this air for me. That's so funny, dude. That's not even a poop joke. That's the thing. It's a it's a poop. Oh my god. It's not even a poop. It's a poop reference. Like a reference is worse than a joke, and like. Poop is about as low as you go. Hey. What? I'm in I'm intimidated right now. It's a citizen's arrest. Oh. I find the subject wholly unfunny. How do you perform a citizen's arrest anyway? Oh, I want these. You have to have... You have to have very conclusive evidence that they have committed a crime. And you have to be right. If you perform a citizen's arrest on an assumption and you turn out, it turns out that you're wrong, you, yeah, you get, like, charged. Um... And you have to immediately, like, contact authorities or something like that. I haven't brushed up on my citizen's arrest theory in a while. You can't just citizen's arrest someone forget about them. Even if they're guilty. Eggs. Don't care about eggs. I don't know. Going out for air a lot, I'm a coward. I've had other roommates in my time. Nick is probably the worst one. I said you're my best roommate. You probably actually are my best roommate. But you went by default. My other ones were bad. How come this guy doesn't get eaten by, like, the giant eel? Explain this. I was afraid I had to Linky Kong my way up there for a second. I didn't even do a very good job of exploring all that stuff down there. I can think of a better roommate. An empty room. Still an improvement. Yeah, I know. 
I'd rather deal with you than be five hundred dollars in debt. I don't know where I'm going right now. Up, up, and away. Why is he bleeding? The uh, click clock wood. That's true. No one wants to see this old. No one wants to see click clock wood. Need to shoot his teeth out. I know. I'm not actually lost. All my friends are signing on. This is the time when all my friends wake up. That's really weird to think about. All my friends are complete night owls. Only the opposite. The opposite of night owl. Day owls. Day hawks. Rahree! I want someone up. I already have the max number of lives, but why not, right? I think there's a secret on both sides. Look, Mirror's Edge, dude. Climb the pole. You play a game? Yeah, I own it. I beat that game when it was new. Eek em book em. That's... That's a swear word reference. That's better than a poop reference. Oh, dude, I'm stuck. Okay. Look at these godlike frame drops. It's not even the recording software. It's just straight up the, um... Uh, the emulator being crappy. Unfortunately, there isn't a good N64 emulator, and there never has been. That being said, there's probably settings I can run on this emulator where it's not lagging, but whatever. Let's just say I'm a masochist. <laughs> Caught. Red-handed. No. Passing these gates is impossible. I have a feeling the other honeycomb is like two inches away. Is it down here? Look how hidden this is. Only a loser would know where this is. This is one of the last things I found like in the game. The first time I did this I did out everything out of order and I can't even imagine doing that now. The thought is just like unholy to me not completing a level. That being said, you need one of the items from the ice level to beat the desert level and one of the what items. I it's my favorite level. No, that's the best level. There's a difference between the best level and my favorite level. I like the desert because there's a guy who is a snake charmer and he has a weird little pet and I think that thing is like the cutest thing in the universe. It's like pink and it looks a little bit like uh, an anteater, but small. And I had a name. It was in the credits. I don't remember what the name was. Probably something cute. It's probably like cupcake. It's probably popcorn. It's a cute name. Oh yeah, dude. That guy. Little, little cat face cloud. That is the cutest. The cutest thing. Look at them, dude. Snippet mutants are we. Jigsaw is ours. Fight us, you must. I know, right? I didn't even do anything. Also, this one's kind of glitching out, but whatever. Dead. Look, dude, I broke him into pieces. Look, two at once. That's like, that's worth a lot of points, dude. Yeah, get the notes. I think it's only four of them. Yeah. Money says I'm gonna buy a headset, dude. That's why I kind of like the system. The system of me holding my microphone. <laughs> it's not even expensive. I just bought this microphone, and it's just like I don't want to spend more money because I already have a microphone. Here it is. Because I don't play on Xbox. They have a good reason. I don't play PC games. Name like one PC game. 
You got me there. I do need a good mic for that reason. I am holding the microphone in my mouth. Hey, yeah, go and tell them. Oh no, I have to dodge them. Oh no! Oh man, I was going to pull yellow there. Alright, I'm going to actually have to time, time this. I think he says darn. Darn! That's what I always heard anyway. Hammer space. I think uh, Kazooie eats them, right? Hammer space. You know what hammer space? I never saw that movie. Who did it star? It was like someone cool. There was something notable about that movie, but I forget what. This will be the one and only time that I will use gold feathers in this entire run, and only because I'm not fully yellow. That's actually really funny that you mentioned that. I never thought about that. Like, how did this molehill get here? Where is he going through? He's literally like scabies. That's a funny thought, dude. He just impressed me. I like the song it plays when you put these on. This is the most broken skill in the entire game, and like, no one ever uses it ever, including me. Because I'm not pro, dude. We know this. This is a foregone conclusion. How many gingos do I have? I can't even get up there yet. Jinjo! Like that? That was good. Congratulations, dude. Look at all this text. Transition. I guess it is. I mean, technically, I'm gonna shoot his face. I think it's the uh, right, the right one, my right, his right. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of gay to hit it. I actually got one. I could line myself up properly, or I could just kind of, you know, throw a couple out there. There you go. Yep. The other one has a uh, mumbo token. What? That's true. Well, I'm knocking out his gold teeth. Aren't they the good ones? Looks like he already got like crowns and replacements. I should be knocking out every other teeth. Every other teeth. You can't shoot from full first person in this game. That's not fair. Like, I just, like, it's so hard to aim. Ye come balk em. I need to... Yeah, I gotta put the bird feet on. What does that mean? My Air Jordans. My Larry Birds. Larry Bird, the superior basketball player. I already got the health upgrade, right? Seven. Ah! I'm gonna jump through them. I'm gonna jump through the green one. Seems like a good start. Maybe it will disappear and another one will turn green. Oh wow. Amazing. I wonder if I can ground pound my way through this. So close. Alright, this is not working. No, it's okay. It gives you way too much time. It always gives you way too much time. Yeah. For like the littlest, tiniest babies. That being said, there were some devilish stuff in the sequels. A lot of people like to list Canary Mary, but that's actually not that hard. 
You just have to know the, the trick. Why don't we just like cut out? It's just like no. I'm still missing a fair amount of jiggies. I'm out of places like I could I don't know, I'm gonna die. I'm out of places I could think to like search. Because I think this is only number seven. Or eight. Yeah, it's only number seven. Like where are the where are the rest of the jiggies at? What nationality? How am I supposed to know? He's Australian. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know, it's a bear claw. You, you eat it. You eat the honeycomb, dude. Yeah. An android, a cyborg. Yeah. You nailed it. I think I actually remember where the other two are. I didn't go up his tail. I don't even... I wonder if they did that. That was a game that did that. It was, um... Oh, I forgot to get this one. Yay. Um... It was that TurboGrafx-16 game. Bonk's Adventure. You got eaten by a dinosaur in level 3. And then you, like, went all the way through the dinosaur. And you had to, like, break, like, brown bricks with your head in order to get out. It's like, what am I playing? I think I always used to shoot eggs at this thing. Yeah. You can just attack it. You can attack it with any attack you have. Why is there no dedicated first person attack mode? You can like bump it if you want. That's a bear claw, I think. Might be a shark tooth. Why would he have a shark tooth necklace? Oh, that's a good reason. Actually. Why wouldn't you want... I killed the shark with my bare hands. Now I wear a part of it. As a trophy. I hope the last six notes, the last four notes, on my way back, I can't... Uh, that's the back of clank Clanker. He's got no anal fin. What is this unrealistic design? The anal fin is the fin on the bottom of the fish. Yes. No, I'm fine. The side of the fin is right at the opening of the anus of the fish. I think you just die. I think there's no gradual health loss or anything like that. It's just abrupt. Remember Sonic? Remember the drowning music? Dun 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 Did you ever play Sonic? Dude, what the fuck? You didn't play Sonic? Any of them? No, no. No, no. Old... The, the old one. No, it's the adventure. That game is okay. Ah. Oh, that was bad. I don't even... I don't even need it. Out. Wow, where's the um, witches thing in this level? Did I even get it? Yeah, I did. I just popped out. I remember that. Yet, I can't remember where it was. And now I'm kind of freaking. The witch witch. Wow, your best note score for this world is now 100. Uh, while I'm here, I should do this. The mole, dude. He jealous because the mole's got that swag. He's got that swagger. That's messed up. I was like alarmed that they killed him off in the sequel. Uh, I just rem I just remembered this woman. I'm Brendan Tilda. Brendan Tilda is a nicer sister. I'm going to use save states. I'm not even going to read these. I don't care. I like how she's like the good witch, but she's still green. I don't know. 
Where are the good witches in Wizard of Oz? They were like, um... Like, the good witches were all, like, hot. Like, um... Glenn? Glenn? I mean, not Glenn. Glenda? Was it Glenn Tilda? That can't be right, can it? Yeah, I know. You actually have to talk to Brent Tilda to get them all. I'm just gonna save state. It'll be okay. Ah, oh, I hate when you're on that quiz and then you get a question that's like... One of the, if you can't answer this, you immediately die questions. And then they pull one of the, uh... Grunt all the questions out of that. What? Yeah, me too. I also like that there's underwater themes of every song in the game. Yeah, I know. I'm saying I also like it. Still not as advanced as what they did in Mario 64 for the underwater music. Um, in the two underwater levels, which had awesome music, by the way, Dire Dire Docks and Jolly Roger Bay. Um, the opening song is kind of simple, but kind of like, you know, it's a nice song. Um, and when you go underwater, the strings are added to the song. Like, it's a stage transition song change that, cha like, lasts for the rest of the... And then when you go to the, the next area, like... Because every both water levels have like a secret underwater path you can take to the next area. When you surface on that area, you get the percussion track added. So you're like listening to a song that gradually evolves depending on where you go into the stage. The strings are really nice too. I'm kind of hoping to just activate a pot and then be done with things. But it's never that easy, is it? I don't know pots this way. He's 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 dead. That's what he is. Yeah, he's a minion. Uh, if I go that way, if I go that way, I'm gonna save and quit. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna save state just cause. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna tell the message. You side with Banjo, but change tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. That one's delivered specifically to um Kazooie. Make a quick double check here. That all looks good. That all looks good. I can't tell that.